Did the ancient Egyptians really marry their siblings and children? What we're looking at here is a temple at Abu Simbel honoring Pharaoh Ramesses II and his queen Nefertiti. However, Ramesses II has several wives, including his daughter, Mary Tamen. So there you go. Ramesses II married his daughter and Cleopatra VII married her brother. But how common was marriage within royal and commoner families? It's often said that ancient Egyptian royalty married within family, with pharaohs marrying siblings and sometimes even their children. But is there any truth to the claim? The answer is yes. People in ancient Egypt, both royal and non-royal, married their relatives. But the details vary according to the time, period, and class. Among the general population, brother-sister marriages occurred frequently during the time the Romans controlled Egypt. Can you imagine? That's from 30 BC to 395 AD. But they were rarer in earlier time periods, according to ancient records. Meanwhile, ancient Egyptian royals sometimes married their siblings, a practice that may have reflected religious beliefs, and pharaohs sometimes married their own daughters. The question of the practice of incest in ancient Egypt has given rise to much discussion among scholars Marcelo Campagno, an independent scholar who holds a doctorate in Egyptology. Examples of Egyptian rulers who were married to their siblings include Sen Waris Ret. He reigned about uh, 1961 BC and uh, who was married to his sister Neferu. Also Amenhotep, the first reigned about 1525 BC, who was married to his sister Ahmose Meritamun, and Cleopatra IV reigned about 51 BC to 30 BC, who was married to her brother Ptolemy the Fourteenth uh, before he was killed. There were also instances of pharaohs marrying their daughters. Ramesses II reigned about 1239 BC took Mary Tamen, one of his daughters, as a wife. Pharaohs in Egypt often had multiple wives and concubines, and incestuous marriages sometimes produced children. Some scholars have suggested that inbreeding contributed to the medical problems of, for example, Tutankhamun, a team led by Zahi Hawass, a former Egyptian antiquities minister and colleague, wrote in the 2010 article published in the journal JAMA. Brother-sister marriage. Many royal Egyptians entered into brother-sister royal marriages to emulate the practice of Osiris and Isis, two Egyptian deities who were siblings married to each other. Osiris was one of the most important gods in Egyptian religion. His consort Isis was also his sister, according to some Egyptian cosmogonies. Lear Alabaria, a lecturer in Egyptology in the University of Birmingham in the UK, said, thus, royals engaged in close kin marriage in order to emulate Osiris and Isis and perpetuate their images as gods on earth. Campagno agreed that the Osiris-Isis marriage helps explain why brother-sister marriage was practiced in Egyptian royalty. Among non-royals, brother-sister marriage does not appear to have become widespread until the time of Roman rule when records indicate there were a sizable number of siblings' marriages, and Ali Baria cautioned that it may be difficult to detect brother-sister marriage after the start of the New Kingdom, about 1550 BC to 1070 BC, because of changes in how Egyptian words were used. For example, the term S and T is usually translated to sister, but the New Kingdom it started as being used for wife or lover as well, Olabaria said. Roman rule. Why the number of brother-sister marriages surged during Roman rule is a source of debate. In her book, The Family in Roman Egypt, a comparative approach to intergenerational solidarity and conflict, Cambridge University Press 2013, Sabine Hubner, professor of ancient civilizations at the University of Basel in Switzerland, wrote that many of these brother-sister marriages may actually be with a man who was adopted into their wife's family shortly before the marriage, 
parents without a son may have wanted this arrangement as it would have meant that the husband moved into their, mar their home rather than their daughter leaving. This would have been important for the financial stability of the parents as they got older, Hubner wrote. This practice of formally adopting a son-in-law occurred in other ancient societies, including Greece. The adoption of a son-in-law is the best explanation for why brother-sister marriages is attested to frequently in Rome and Egypt, Hubner said. This seems to be more the more obvious case than declaring the Society of Rome and Egypt the only case in human history where full sibling marriages were celebrated among the common people at large and on a regular basis, she wrote. Some scholars are not certain that adoption can explain why brother-sister marriages were frequent in Rome and Egypt. The wording of the Egyptian marriage contract son and daughter of the same mother and the same father pretty well ruled out adoption in all of the cases, Brent Shaw, Professor Emeritus of Classes at Princeton University said. Son and daughter, the same mother and father. Now, there are other possible explanations for why brother-sister marriages frequently occurred in Roman Egypt. One possibility, Olabaria said, is that parents encouraged it so that property and wealth would not be split up as much as when they died. And Campagna noted that the practice seems to have occurred largely in parts in the population of the Greek descent, and Olabaria said brother-sister marriage may have been used as an identity marker of sorts for Egyptian and Greek descent. This is by Owen Jarris on Live Science. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Patreon accounts. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.